friends. So today I wanted to do something a little bit differently. I want to compare two series over here on this channel because when I first started reading at the beginning of January, I read a book called Fourth Wing. So I read that book and I dived into the fantasy realm and I decided that I really liked it and I was like, okay, let me keep continuing on with that. So then I read closer to June, I read the start of Akatar. So I read the series of A Court of Thorns and Roses. So I thought it'd be really cool to kind of compare the two because I felt like they were very similar in taste. So Fourth Wing is a newer book. It was made in 2023 and then Akatar was made back in 2015. So they, they are a ways away from each other, but they are very similar. Fourth Wing, so far there's only two books, but I think they were talking about her potentially doing five books. So I did just read the two books. I read Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. And then you have Akatar, which is like five books, hopefully maybe another one I think she was talking about. So this one does have a little bit more in depth with the series where this, where Fourth Wing is just still with the two. Wing, there is Violet Sorengale, who I really feel like she didn't want to be a part of this college. She didn't want to become a dragon rider. She's very thin and fragile. They tell her that she's very small and that she can't compete in these trials. And then she's not going to get a dragon to bond with her. But she's also like a very strong woman on the inside and she proves everyone wrong so I love that for Violet and then over on the Akatar we have a girl named Farah, who's also kind of very similar. Farah shows her strength kind of quickly in the book. She begins as taking care of her family. She's the one that feeds her family so she goes out to hunt and kill animals so that she could feed her family while her sisters are just staying home and her dad's working. So it's kind of very hard to choose from the two of them. I think they're both very strong women very good leading lady. So I'm going to give them both a point. For the guys, in fourth wing, we have Zayden, who is a very dark, broody, handsome guy. He's very strong. Everyone fears him. Everyone thinks he's a really scary guy. And his and Violet's relationship is a very beautiful one. Starts off enemies to lovers, but then it becomes very romantic. And I loved the relationship. And then here you have Rysan, or I think everyone calls it Reese. I say Rysan. He is a dark brooding character as well, very powerful, very scary. He's got the bat wings, which make him 10 times more attractive. <laughs> I love his relationship with Vera. I think it is so sweet. It starts off very rough at first as well, almost enemies to lovers, and then they kind of dwell and fall in love with each other. And I think I might have to give them a point, Vera and Rysan, because I feel like he's such like a man who lets his woman have a word, lets her talk, lets her speak up for herself, will stand by her 100% even if he almost doesn't agree with her. So I love their relationship. And then like I said earlier, Fourth Wing is about dragons. So you can have dragons versus the fairies and bats and Akatar. So I loved the story with the dragons and how she gets to talk to the dragons through their mind. I thought that was a really cool concept. If you're somebody who watches Aragon or Divergent, I feel like Fourth Wing will be a little bit more in your realm because that's what that story was giving me. And then if you're somebody who likes Beauty and the Beast, Lord of the Rings, I think Akatar might be a little bit more in your realm. And then as far as if you're somebody who wants to know about the spice level in both of the stories, there is Fourth Wing. I feel like Fourth Wing has a little bit more spice to it. I would give that like a three, three and a half. And then I would give Akatar like a two, two and a half. So if you're someone who kind of reads a little bit more for smut, a little bit more for spice, I would say that Fourth Wing has just a little bit more of that. But I feel like they're almost both equally on the playing field as well. They're not super graphic, super gory, just talking about the love and the romance. If you'd like to know my opinion, I personally loved Fourth Wing just a little bit higher than the way I loved Akatar. Yes, Akatar has five books, almost six, with Fourth Wing is still kind of rivaling up. She's still kind of bringing them out. She's, she's bringing out, I believe it's pronounced Onyx Storm. That's coming out in January and that's part of the Empyrean series. So that one is still coming out. So it could level up a little bit more, but I already loved Fourth Wing. The second I put that book down, I absolutely wanted to pick up Iron Flame. I loved Fourth Wing so much. It was such in my element. I loved it. Akatar, I was very much the same way. The first time I read the first book, I was like, ooh, this is really good. I love where the series is going. But for me, it kind of just went of Thorns and Roses. Then I read A Court of Mist and Fury, which I really loved that one because Bryce Ann's in it a lot. And then it kind of just plummeted a little bit for me. Wings and Ruin just went really in depth with war and it was kind of just, I kind of missed the love and the romance and the fantasy of the previous books. And then Frost and Starlight, that one was really cute too. It was kind of short book. And then the last one was A Court of Silver Flames, 
which that one wasn't my favorite because it was a lot about Nesta and Cassian, which I love them as characters, but I prefer Farrah and Rysan more. So for me, that one was just like, mm, downhill, where I feel like um, a fourth wing was kind of just pumping up a little bit higher for me. So that would be my rating. I would recommend, honestly, the both series. I would recommend the both of them. They're equally amazing in their own way. Let me know if you guys would like to read them, check them out. Let me know in the comments um, which one you guys would prefer, if you would prefer Fourth Wing or Avatar series. I would love to hear your concept. I would love to hear which of the leading ladies you love the most, Violet versus Farah or Rysan versus Zayden. I would love to hear um, your guys' takes on those. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a love, 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 and a comment down below. Let me know um, that you guys are loving these things, loving these videos. Bye!